Hey kiddos, welcome to our last week looking at coordinate planes. This time we are focusing specifically on the movement in our coordinates and tracking it. Now remember, I asked you to label the coordinates and add or subtract the absolute values. Remember that each time we're looking to see either what the vertical or horizontal distance is because one of our coordinates is gonna match either the X or the Y and the other one is gonna be where that movement is. So if we're looking at this one, I'm gonna go out to seven, up to two. The next one is out to seven and up to eight. So right there, I see that the difference is in my Y's and I am going to subtract the absolute value because they're in the same quadrant. They're both in quadrant one. So when I do eight minus six, I get a distance of six. I'm sorry, eight minus two, I get a distance of six units. And I can check it by going here and saying, okay, am I going up six? And I am, I go up one, two, three, four, five, six, gets me to where I was. Okay. So it just keeps us from having to count. Coming over here, we are in different quadrants, so we're going to need to add because in order to get back to this center line, we would have to get back to zero, right? So we need to figure out how to get from negative to neutral and how to get from neutral to positive. So let's plot these. For this one, I have to go to negative four down to negative two. This one, I have to go negative four and up to eight. So if I'm looking at my absolute values, my X's match, I'm looking at the difference in my Y. So I have the absolute value of eight plus the absolute value of negative two. Eight plus two is 10. I have a distance of 10 units. Popping down here, they're in the same quadrant. So I'm gonna subtract them. Let's look at where they are. For this one, I go to the right six and down three. Next one, I go to the right six and down negative six. So my X's match, or I'm sorry, these should be negative two. My X's match, but my Y's are different. So we are going to subtract the absolute value of six minus the absolute value of three. They're negative, but when they're absolute value, they're positive or neutral. So six minus three gives me a distance of three units. Again, I could count that out and check if I wanted. These are opposite quadrants, so I'm going to add them. Coming up here, for this first one, I go over to 4, up to 1. Down here, I go over to 4, down to 8. So I am going to add the absolute value of 1 plus the absolute value of negative 8, because notice that my x values are the same, my y is different. So absolute value means taking away that negative sign, just talking about its distance from zero. One plus eight is nine. I have a distance of nine units. Over here, same quadrant, so I'm gonna subtract. Let's look, I have negative six, negative two. Down here, negative six, negative eight. My x's are the same, my y is different. So I am going to subtract negative eight minus negative two, their absolute values. Eight minus two gives me a distance of six units. And then the last one, they are in different quadrants. So we are gonna add their values. And this one is negative six, five. Down here, we have negative six and negative nine. So their X values are the same, their Y is different, and I'm gonna add the absolute value of five to the absolute value of negative nine, which gives me a distance of 14 units. That brings us to the end of our first page. If you have any questions, please bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, on to page number two, where we are looking at our coordinates to label them, deciding if we should add or subtract their absolute values to determine the distance. Remember, if they are in different quadrants, we are going to add them because we need to figure out how to get from negative to neutral and neutral to positive. And then if they are in the same quadrant, we are going to subtract them. So this first one, they are in different quadrants. We're going to add them. Coming in here. I have to go to negative six, and then I go up to eight. 
over here, I have to go to eight, eight. So I see that my Y values are the same. And this time I have a difference in my X values. So I am going to add the absolute value of negative six to the absolute value of eight. Six plus eight is 14. So I have a distance of 14 units. Over here, same quadrant. So I am going to subtract. Let's zoom in to see where we are. For this one, I go over to negative two and down to negative three. And then for this one, I go over to negative 10 and down to negative three. My X values are different. My Y is the same. So I am going to subtract the absolute value of negative 10 minus the absolute value of negative two. 10 take away two is eight. Distance of eight units for this one. They are in different areas, so I'm going to add these. Zooming in, I'm going over to negative seven, and I'm going up to six. Over here, I am going over to four and up to six. My X's are this, uh, X's are different. Y is the same. I'm gonna add the absolute value of negative seven to the absolute value of four. Seven plus four gives us a distance of 11 units. They're in the same, so we subtract. Let's see where they are. We have negative 10, negative three, negative two, negative three. So what we're looking for is our negative 10. Woo, I didn't mean to highlight, just change it. Negative 10 and negative two. They're the absolute values we're gonna be subtracting. So negative 10 minus negative two gives us a distance of eight units. Coming down here, we're gonna add them because they're in different quadrants. For this one, we are gonna go over to nine and up to 10, or I'm sorry, negative nine. Over here, we're gonna go over to two and up to 10. So we're looking at the difference between two and negative nine. So we are going to take the absolute value of negative nine, add it to the absolute value of two, because we have to get from negative nine to neutral and then from neutral to positive two. Nine and two gives us a distance of 11 units. Over here, same subtract. Over to two, negative eight. Over to seven, negative eight. We're looking at seven and twos, absolute values to subtract. Absolute value of seven minus the absolute value of two. Seven minus two gives us a distance of five units. Any questions, bring them with you to class. On to page number three, you know what we're doing at this point. So we are just gonna rock and roll. They are different, so we add them. This one is negative seven, comma five. Over here, we are at seven, comma five. The difference is in our negative seven and our seven. Adding the absolute value of negative seven plus the absolute value of seven gives me a distance of 14 units. Over here, we are at negative four comma eight and negative four comma negative two. Here's my difference. They're in a different quadrant. So I add the absolute value of eight plus the absolute value of negative two. I have a distance of 10 units. Over here, opposite add. Same subtract. I'm going to go to negative two, six, and I'm going to go to four, six. Looking at these two values, I'm going to add the absolute value. Ooh, made it a 12, it's a two. Absolute value of two plus four. Two plus four is six. Our distance is six units. Over here, same subtract. They both have an X value of four, and we have a Y of two and a Y of five. There's my difference. I'm gonna subtract the absolute value of five and the absolute value of two. Five minus two gives me a distance of three units. 
coming down here. So this one's a little bit tricky because they're technically in the same quadrant, even though we don't necessarily consider the axis in a quadrant because it's neutral. So if I was asking you to tell me the quadrant that it was in, it would be on the axis. It's not really in quadrant one or two, but for our purposes, since it's neutral, we're gonna say that they're the same and we're gonna subtract them, okay? If we said they were different and we added them, we're still not gonna get a different answer, but let's stick with one, okay? So for this one, I have an X of zero and a Y of five. And here I have an X of negative eight and a Y of five. So I'm looking at these, the absolute value of eight minus zero gives me eight units. But again, if I were to add them, the absolute value of eight plus zero is still eight units, okay? It could go either way. These are all neutral, but one is a positive neutral and one is a negative neutral, so we're gonna need to add them, okay? This one, it matters. So we have an X of zero, an X of zero, a Y of six, and a Y of negative four. So we're looking at this difference and we are gonna add the absolute, ooh, I just lost it, where was I? Oh no, we're going back. We're not gonna rewrite all these. Okay, so we were on page three. All right, so we were right here and we were going to add the absolute value of six and the absolute value of negative four, which gives us a distance of 10 units. And we added them, 10 units. All right, on to page number four, same subtract. We have an X value of six for both of these. This has a Y of three and a Y of eight. So we're looking at the absolute value of eight minus the absolute value of three. We have a distance of five units. Over to here, opposite, add. We have an X of two and a Y of eight. We have an X of negative two and a Y of eight. So we're looking at these values. The absolute value of negative two plus the absolute value of two gives me a total of four units of movement. Down here, we are on our Y. So we are at zero comma six and zero comma negative four. Absolute value of six plus the absolute value of negative four. We add them, we have 10 units that we are moving, 10 units. All right, over to this one. They are going to be a positive and negative, so we're gonna to need to add them. We have negative seven, zero, right? Because we go to the left, but we don't go up. And over here, we have nine, zero, because we go to the right and then we don't go up. Absolute value of seven plus the absolute value of nine gives me a distance of 16 units. All right, moving on down, we have two more on this page. We are going to subtract because they are the same quadrant. We're going to have an X value of seven for both of these. And then this one goes up to three and this one goes up to eight. So we are going to subtract the absolute value of eight minus the absolute value of three gives us a distance of five units, five units. All right, my friends, we have one more on this page. Same subtract, moving in, we have an X of one and a Y of negative four. We have an X of eight and a Y of negative four. So we're looking at the difference between eight and one. And the absolute value of eight minus the absolute value of one gives us a distance of seven units. A distance of seven units. Remember that when they are in the same quadrant, we have to subtract. All right, friends, one more page. One more page. So for this one, let me get my screens to line up, there we go. So for this one, we are in the same, so we are gonna subtract, but let's look at where we are. 
we have an x of 2, a y of negative 2, an x of 6, and a y of negative 2. So we're looking at the difference between the absolute value of 6 and the absolute value of 2. It's a distance of 4 units. 4 units. For this one, they're the same, so we're going to subtract. We have an x of 7 and a y of 5 an x of 7 and a y of 0. We're looking at the difference between 5 and 0. So the absolute value of 5 minus the absolute value of 0 gives us a distance of 5 units. Down here, same subtract. We have an x of 4 and a y of 5 an x of 10 and a y of 5, looking at the difference between the absolute value of 10 and the absolute value of 4. This gives us a distance of 6 units. 6 units. Coming over here, they are both positive. They're both neutral. So we're going to say that we're going to subtract them. We have an x of 0 and a y of 6 an x of 0, and a y of 0. We are right in the middle, so that's 0, 0, looking at the difference between 6 and 0. It has a difference of 6 units. Again, this is another one where if you would have added, it would have been okay. But for our purposes, let's keep it consistent. Down here to the last one on this side, they are opposite, so we add, zooming in to see where we are, we have an x of negative 6 and a y of 3. We have an x of negative 6 and a y of negative 3. Looking at the difference between 3 and negative 3, their absolute values. 3 plus 3 gives us a distance of 6. Last one, we are going to subtract. This has an x of negative 3 and a y of 6. x of negative 3, y of 0, looking at the difference between the absolute value of 6 and the absolute value of 0 gives us a distance of 6 units. And that brings us to the end, my friends. If you have any questions, please bring them with you to class. Have a good weekend.